the sharecropper's rose bush. Clayton had pulled off the side of the Miller Road, right where the entrance to the old Tarkington place had been. Back when they lived here, there had been an old run-down cattle guard, but now there was a brand new aluminum gate, complete with a chain and lock. He glanced up to where the house had once stood and saw nothing remain but a fallen down chimney and a bunch of overgrown weeds. This was where his family lived in 1965 when Clayton had graduated from high school at Moyers, Oklahoma. An old farmhouse with no electricity, no running water, and an outhouse. This stark setting would have fit right in with John Steinbeck's Grapes of Wrath and was home sweet home back then. Clayton didn't really see any reason to walk the 50 yards up to where the house had burned down, but he had already come this far, so he decided to go ahead. He climbed over the locked gate, walked up to where the house once stood, and kicked around through the ancient burned-out rubble. Clayton had no idea what he expected to find. He didn't figure the new owners would care that he was up here poking around, even if they happened by. And besides, they probably lived in Oklahoma City or Dallas anyhow. It wasn't like there was anything left to steal. He walked into what he guessed would have been the living room, although he didn't trust his memory enough that he would bet money on it. There lying half buried in the dirt was the charred remains of an old cap pistol that had been in the house when it had burned. There was probably a pretty good chance that old charred toy pistol had once been a prized possession of one of his little brothers. Then he saw the old burned out wooden kitchen stove where his mom had cooked many a meal. Since he remembered where it had set against the north wall of the kitchen, he was now able to orient himself, and all of a sudden he was back in the old home place instead of standing in the middle of a cow pasture out on the Miller Road.